Hey, what's up guys? Michelle Ching coming to you from my home here in Florida. It is December 29th, 2014. We've got three days left. Three days left in 2014, you guys. It's been a phenomenal year, but I can't tell you how excited I am about 2015. And uh, you know, one of my uh, greatest uh, takeaways from this year was being able to be a part of the LID program. And uh, being a part of uh, Nick Sarnicola's LID group, uh, you know, over the past, um, I don't know, five months or so has been absolutely life changing. Uh, you know, to be able to sit at his LID group and uh, learn and really just, uh, you know, get to learn how this guy thinks and how he operates and, uh, you know, take away from him what he's learning from John C. Maxwell. And uh, you guys, over the past uh, seven days or so, I can tell you that I've spent a lot of time, uh, you know, uh, uh, putting together my goals and uh, setting the calendar for 2015 and what do I want to accomplish in the year. And uh, this, is my, uh, this is my journal right here. And uh, I've got my goals written right here. I actually printed them out and uh, put them at the front of my notebook so I see it every single day. Uh, but the purpose for shooting this video, you guys, is I wanted to share um, one of my greatest takeaways from being a part of the LID program. And uh, one of the topics that we covered was environment. Uh, for me, environment was huge when I first started with 21 years old, full-time college student, working part-time in the nightclub industry. And I'm sure you could imagine I probably wasn't uh, surrounding myself uh, with people that had the same values as me. Right, so environment was huge. So there's nine different points here that I'm gonna give you. Uh, you know, if you're that type of person that you're wondering, you know, how, what type of environment, environment am I looking for? You know, what type of environment do I need to create in order to be successful? And uh, I'm gonna give you nine different points is what I learned uh, as far as being a part of the, the Maxwell LID uh, program. And number one uh, is create an environment where others are ahead of you. Others are ahead of you, uh, you know, people that are more successful than you, or maybe they're, uh, you know, further along in the career that you're in currently, or maybe they're, uh, you know, at the rank that you want to be at right now if you're in network marketing. Number two is a place where you're constantly challenged, right? So in other words, you're, you're stepping out of your comfort zone constantly. Number three is where your focus is always forward, right? It's always forward. The only time that you should ever be looking back is to look at what you've accomplished, right? Um, number four is creating an atmosphere that is affirming, Number five, uh, you're out of your comfort zone again. Uh, number six, uh, failure is not your en enemy. It's something that you're embracing. Uh, failure is uh, one of those things that you can really learn from, right? And then number seven is uh, where others are growing, right? They're constantly growing as leaders, constantly growing in their business. Um, number eight is where people desire change, right? You're never gonna grow as an individual if you surround yourself with people who are just happy where they're at, right? And they don't want change um, and they're just good, right? They're good where they're at. Uh, number nine, where growth is modeled, right? It's not just a place where people are constantly growing, but they're showing that they're growing. They're constantly making daily efforts, uh, you know, to grow. So hope that that added some value to you guys. Uh, environment, 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 create that environment uh, in, this, in this upcoming year in 2015. Create, uh, you know, an environment where people are encouraging you, where they're ahead of you. Don't be that person that's the smartest one in your class. If you're the smartest one in your class, you're probably in the wrong class. So uh, let's make it a great close of 2014, guys, and let's make it the best year upcoming 2015 that we've ever had. Take care, guys, and we'll see you in the new year.